was my, my mother's idea. I was, uh, I had graduated from high school and uh, I was looking for something to do. I joined the Mercer Marine. And that's where I was when she started this business. She just made a, uh, uh, a couple, I guess on the back of the stove or something with it on a pot uh, with shortening and uh, like a french fryer. Uh, the business got, got uh, better and as, as she was doing it, 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 it kept growing. And I came home from the Merchant Marine and there was a job there for me. I mean, I, we uh, kept adding to the business and uh, she went from a hand to uh, a hand, -to -hand uh, business to uh, buying machinery. She saw machinery uh, advertised in a, a, a magazine, I guess, and uh, she sent for it, and, and we set up in the cellar of, a, of an old gas station. The, uh, the pot method was still in use, but it was a bigger pot. It uh, grew from then on. We, we were delivering with our own equipment, uh, like our own, our own car. And uh, that's how we got, were delivering at that time. And then we grew big enough to buy it, uh, a truck. And that was a 47 Chevrolet. Uh, just, a, just a little thing. It was uh, about like a station wagon. From 47, it just kept uh, growing f uh, really fast. Uh, wasn't any trouble in selling them. Uh, you just had to say advertised ships, and uh, of course the stores weren't that big either. There's the the stores have increased uh, pretty near a hundred percent from what they used to be. And uh, so the potato chip business is, is, has increased 100 percent towards what, what we, the way we had, the way that we done it. And uh, then from that that little pot method, they got uh, a big pot that was uh, more or less. Uh, Oh, six feet long, maybe maybe eight feet long. It, when it, when it was fully opened up, it would be over eight foot long. But you had a uh, place to set the chips as they cooled, and the, and the oil uh, dripped out of it. And and, and then uh, we had. Uh, uh, a cloth, same thing to dump them into to sort of uh, in, uh, to soak the, take the, the grease off of it. And uh, of course, there's where you salted them too. And that was a hand method of salting that never changed. <laughs> the, Potatoes. We we had uh, uh, originally peeled them all by hand, Every, uh, and uh, that was around uh, three four hundred bushel. Yeah, bushel uh, of potatoes at a time. That was a lot of peeling. <laughs> uh, and then later on, we had an electric peeler. Uh, that was a, sort of a sandstone affair with a, with a, with an agitator in the bottom that bounces the potatoes around, 
and that that uh, skinned uh, skin a bit, uh, but she still had a had a uh, eye them, uh, which they don't do today. They don't they don't eye them. Actually, at that time we we actually only fried potato chip three times a week, and uh, done the delivering in between that. The, the 47 truck finally got too small and uh, we got a, a bigger a walk-in truck. It was pretty much used up whenever I, whenever I got a hold of it. About 1949, I was, I was inducted in the service. And uh, I done my time, and uh, I came. I came home, and my mother kept the business going, but it was it was rough on her. Uh, it was it was a lot to manufacture and and do the sales too. But when I came home home from the service, the business was actually had decreased. But uh, it wasn't too much trouble. All, I'd, all I had to do was make my rounds, and I got the business back. And uh, about the time I got the business going real good, the Army called me again. I was recalled during the co uh, Korean conflict, and uh, though I didn't go overseas, uh, that messed up my business again. When it got over, it was harder to get the business back that time than it was the first time. We were in, in competition, actually, with all these big outfits that uh, they, they were bigger than we were at that, at that particular time. And not to mention it, they, they got much bigger since that. <laughs> Well, we bought as much uh, locally as we could, and as we got bigger, we had to uh, depend on uh, potatoes that were trucked in from from uh, the south. A funny thing: the potato is a sensitive uh, vegetable, actually. But they they don't they don't get that cold, or, or they won't uh, they won't chip. They get they get black, uh, and uh, the ground has something to do with it too. It uh, certain acids in the ground, uh, like uh, the red shale, uh, I like they have over at Red Hill. Uh, they, you can't use their potatoes. And, and they, they won't make good french fries either, but uh, they're all right to cook. You can eat. We made all sizes, uh, five cent ones, 10 cent ones, 25 cent ones, and from there on we get into the bulk, and they were about, Oh, 49 cents, I think we pay. We got for a three pound box, 49 cents a pound. Three people do, done, the, done the bag and uh, they, they, that, all, that was all done by hand. And it, if you got used to it, which I, I did, I got used to it, I could almost guess at a 10 cent bag by just one hand, I could pick 10 cents worth up, and according to the scales, I was right. You dare be a little heavy on your weight, but you dare be light. That 
it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work and uh, a bushel of potatoes is not light. And uh, I, uh, it, it caused me back problems. Even just a part of a bushel and go up, go up steps, we had to add a, the uh, peeling and that was done in the cellar part. And then you had to go up steps with uh, the peeled potatoes uh, to the plate to the slicer to the, actually to the eyers that, that would eye the potatoes. And in about 19, sometimes after 1950, uh, my mother took ill and uh, so that slowed her down. Due to her health, she just decided to to uh, let me have it myself. You know, and she said she she said whatever you do with it, you it's yours. She said I I can't uh, I can't keep going. And my mother, uh, she and she. Uh, she sold them to a, a fellow in Dunn Cannon, and he told me this. He said she, she came in, she said, I'm selling potato chips, Hattie's potato chips, and I'm Hattie. <laughs>